Hi, thank you very much for stopping by my channel. This is Willie, ready to motivate you, inspire you, and provide to you strategies and principles to help you put your life and career and business to the next level. If you haven't yet not subscribed, make sure that you do so and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the seven principles of purpose by Dr. Miles Monroe. Of course, you know that he passed away uh, in 2014 and he has been my mentor for the last six years. He has transformed my life completely and I'm talking and as I'm talking about purpose these days I felt a need for you guys to recap to help you guys with these principles to recap in 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 the process of understanding what is purpose and why purpose matters because you know the reason why you guys the reason why I've started you know I you know I'm, I'm talking about these things gifts purpose passion potential and so forth it's because I know how it has impacted my life and I want you guys to 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 to, to take hold of this opportunity to learn these things so he you know during the process of researching about about purpose he came about uh, the principles of purpose or what are the building blocks what are the characteristics of purpose so the, it is seven it is seven principles but you you can take like a whole week <laughs> that's how deep it is guys pondering on one principle so without delaying going straight to the principle number one of purpose by the way before i go to the first principles what we're defining for you what is purpose purpose is the reason of existence of anything <laughs> you know it means it means you know uh, cameras have purpose telephone has purpose cars have purpose light bulbs have purpose Pens have purpose. Notebooks have purpose. So everything has a reason for its existence. It is the use of that thing. I hope that is clear. So principle number one. Number one purpose is, number one principle of purpose is God is a God of purpose. So there is nothing that God creates without a purpose. So it means purpose precedes your existence. That's very deep. So it means <laughs> before you existed, your purpose existed. It means when God created, when God was creating you, uh, of course, if you believe in God, if when, when God was creating you, he did not, you know, form you from the dust. Of, he, he, did not, he did not form you in, the, in, the, in your mother's womb and just started wondering, what, what am I going to do with Justin? What am I going to do with Chris? What am I going to do with this creature that I've created? No. He sat and designed in his mind the reason, you know, he designed that purpose in his mind before he created. He said, that person that I'm going to create, what is that person designed to do? So God is a God of purpose. Anything he does on earth, not only creating humans but also everything you know every circumstance every event every instance every second everything that he has created or everything that he does he is a god of purpose it means everything that he does he finished them and then he comes back he start them it means he's a god of purpose he does everything by predestination <laughs> that's how deep it is so it means you cannot be an accident if it is the case. So how, whenever, you know, however you are struggling in your life, you know, whatever you may be passing through, I have been there. Guys, I've been a point in my life when I, I've started questioning the reason of my existence. Did God really have the purpose creating me? And the truth is, he's a God of purpose. So make sure that you fix that in your mind. Anything that happens to your life, anything that you go through, uh, it is a guarantee. He is you know, your life is designed. Your life has been produced because God wanted to do something. Principle number two. God created everything with a purpose. God created everything with a purpose. What does that mean? It means that everything that you see today in the world, 
you know, from the animals to the plants to the humans to the, you know, in the universe to the planets to the light to the moon to the sun to the stars. Everything has a purpose. That thing that you see, they may be beautiful. Roses are beautiful, but they are not just beautiful. They are not made for beauty. Seas, when you enjoy the beach, man, it is, it is, it, there is nothing beautiful as, you know, a sunset on a beach. But a sunset on a beach has a purpose. You know, the roses that you see, the flowers that you pick every time you see them, you are amazed. Ooh, this is very good for my wife. Let me pick it, give it to my wife. That rose has a purpose. When you see the sun, you are amazed. Oh, sunshine. This is very beautiful. It might be made for beauty. No. And this comes to this. If you are watching this and, you know, you, are, you, know, you have certain traits that people appreciate, you are given those traits for a purpose. If, if people admire the way you look, if people admire the way you talk, if people admire, you know, your listening skills, if people admire your hair, if people admire any physical traits, you have been given those traits for a purpose. You have not given, you, okay, you, you are not just, you are not just handsome to be handsome or beautiful to be beautiful, if you believe you are beautiful or handsome. But again, in the reverse, if you have a trait that you do not like, maybe you are, light skin, maybe you are dark skin, maybe you are short, tall, yellow, blue, green, I don't know. <laughs> but truth is, that trait to be tall, short, light skin, brown, black, yellow, green, you have been given that thing for a purpose. There is nothing in the world that happens without a purpose. And that purpose is God's purpose. Principle number three, not every purpose is known to us. This is very heavy. So it means <laughs> if you see, not, I mean, you know, you know, the experimentation of sciences is people trying to understand why is this thing created? But we keep coming with what? You know, when science discover, you know, when science discover something, most of the time they are discover, discovering what this thing is. You know, they dissect the atoms, they enter into the, you know, the molecules, they go into, you know, they invent, they come up with, you know, chemical elements on the periodic table. They invent, you know, they, they come to understand, you know, what is the law of gravity and so forth. So we keep, we keep, we, we keep, we keep, we keep discovering what? Because not every purpose is, not, is known, because only the manufacturers know the purpose. We'll, we'll come back to that you know, later on on the video. But what I wanted to know you, what, what I wanted you to know is that not every purpose is known. You will find, you know, you, you can, what that means is, if you don't contact the person who made that thing, you will keep discovering what that thing is. You know, the fact that you can say, you know, uh, I know John. I know Chris, I know Christian, but do you know why John exists? Every, you know, you know, the big deal is not what, the big deal is why. Why is this thing happening? Why is, is that person created? Why, what is the purpose? Why does camera exist? Why does telephone exist? So the most important thing to know about anything or anyone is why, not what. What is good, but is not enough. That's why, Go, you know, every purpose, the, you know, purposes are not known every day. So the fifth principle, the fourth principle is where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. So it means if you don't know why something was created, you will abuse it. You will mark, you, you try to make a spoon, a knife. You try to make a fork, a spoon, because forks are not made to, you know, you know to, to eat soup. Spoon eats its soup. So it means these are, if, if you do not the purpose of, of, of something, you will always abuse them. Let me put in the context of humans. If you don't know why you have certain traits, you will abuse them. You will feel bad about how tall you are, about your failure in life. Let me, take, let me tell you something, guys. Do you know that when you know the purpose of your life, when you know why you exist, it will give sense to the struggles you go through. It will give sense to the, you know, to the life history. It will give sense to everything. Because if God knows that you will be a great person, you will have to cancel people. He will make sure that you go through some hell to be able to cancel people. 
That's how deep it is. So make sure that, you know, <laughs> you, know you understand your purpose. And if I do not know the purpose of a telephone, I will abuse it. So you know this thing called drug abuse. Drug abuse, you know, every, you know, you know, these things we call drugs, they are not drugs really, because you know, in medical field, they use most of what we call drugs to, you know, to, to make to restore the, the health of our bodies. But notice that they call them drug abuse. Drug abuse means you have abnormally used that drug. So when you abuse yourself, you are abnormally using yourself. When you when you get involved into you know the, you know some behaviors that makes your life sick, maybe it is alcohol, maybe it is you know sexual immoralities, maybe it is you know m misusing your time, misusing your talent. You are abusing yourself because where purpose is not known, abuse is completely inevitable. So make sure that you know the purpose. What is the reason why? You will watch other videos of mine, you know, where to discover your purpose and so forth. But make sure that you know your purpose to protect yourself from abuse. And the fifth principle of purpose is to discover something, never ask the creation. This is very deep because if you want to know the purpose, if you want to know the purpose of a telephone, you don't ask the telephone because the telephone will not speak to you. So whenever, whenever you want to know the purpose of the thing, you better go to somewhere else, to the one who created it. He's the one who knows. Let me tell you something. When, you know, I've heard this story of a family in, in, in China, I think it was in China or Japan, uh, somewhere, you know, just in Asia, where they use many electronic products. And, when the, and, and then that family, you know, they gave birth to a baby and, after a few weeks, you know, babies have some issues. And then when they reached in the night, the baby started crying. He cried and cried and cried. And then the husband asked the, the wife, have you, honey, have you got the manual? Why don't, I, 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 you, I didn't we forget, <laughs> didn't we forget the manual of how to run kids? That was an interesting question because, you know, you are not born with the manual. You know, your, 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 your life, you, you know, when, when the parent, I mean, like the, the hospital in which you were born to, if you, if you have, you know, had the chance to be born in a hospital, they did not give the manure to your parents. No. The only one who knows the reason why you were born, it is not your parents. It is not your friends. If you go to your friends to ask them why you were born, you are in trouble. Because the only one, the only person who can know why you were born is the one who gave you life. Who gave you life? God gave you life. So make sure that when it comes to purpose, do not ask the thing. Do not ask, do not ask that thing. Go and read the manual. If you ask your telephone, why were you made? It will not respond. If you ask the door, why were you made? No. But if you go to the Samsung store, iPhone store, oh, uh, you know, any, any, any telephone, a Blackberry or Nokia or whatever, these are the people who are going to tell you exactly why that telephone was made. So the sixth principle of purpose is, purpose is in the mind of the maker. That's what I was, I was talking about. So the only, people, the only person who can tell you why that thing was made is the, manu is the manufacturer. You know, this thing we call manure, it comes from manufacturer. So it is the mind of the manufacturer. It means when you read manures, you will understand, finally, you will understand finally why those things were meant. So it means if I, know, if I want to know the purpose of an equipment in a box, I will first read the manure, understand the manure, and then be able to operate. But by the way, let me tell you something about this. If you do not know your purpose, if you do not, if you do not consult the one who created you for him to tell you why he created you, you will operate at a lower level. You know, sometimes you will buy an equipment and then you use only three functions because you do not, you have not read the manure. So make sure that you read the manure. We have been given the manure of life and that is the word of God. The word, the word, word means it is the mind of God. A word is an expressed thought. So when we talk about reading the mind of God or reading the mind of the manufacturer, you will go straight to his word to make sure that he reveals to you why he has made you. Because there is no one in the world who knows the product like 
the manufacturer. So the last principle, the seventh one, the last but not least, is God's purpose is key to fulfillment. That's what I was talking about. So it means you will never operate at your highest level. You will never operate at your highest potential if you do not know why you were born. Because every time you achieve something, you will be impressed. And then when you reach in front of the judgment, uh, you know, the, the, the throne of the one who sent you here, they will, always, they will tell you, you could have achieved this. And that's pity. That's really, it's the worst thing that can ever happen to a servant. When a, a person gives you a job and then he tells to you, you did not do a good job. You, ha you have been, you did not, you, 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 you have not been a good steward of my potential. God gave you gifts. God gave you many things inside. He gave you dreams. He gave you a brain, you know, filled with cells and neurons and everything. Make sure that you explore, you, you use, you put demand on your potential, you put demand on your purpose so that you understand the mind of God. Take time, meditate, pray, and then let the manufacturer, the one who made you, help you discover discover your purpose, tells you your purpose, tells you really this is the reason why you, and sometimes when I say tell you, it will come in form of ideas, you will have an idea or you will have, you know, a revelation, I don't know what, how God speaks to you, but he's the only one, you know, sometimes, you know, you may watch this video and say, ah, this is religion and so forth, no, this is the principles, you know, if you are watching this video, you know that if you want to know how the full functionality of a Samsung telephone, you will have to go to Samsung or you will have to read the manual of the telephone. So for human beings, if you, we have been created by a being up there in heaven called God and God wants you to fulfill the purpose he has put on earth to you for you to fulfill. So make sure that you understand, make sure that you learn, make sure that you digest. And he's willing to do that if you contact him. If you call on to him, he's going to come to your rescue and explain to you the reason why you were put here on earth. Thank you very much for staying to the last minute of this video. I love you guys and I appreciate your hunger to learn. And if you have not yet, you know, you know, comment, make sure that you comment and let's exchange knowledge and advance together. And I will definitely see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.